Hey, uh, I, I just got my, my friend Brock is in town for the Christmas season visiting and I got him a gift. It's Risk 2010 AD and uh, 20, thank, thank you, Brock. Risk 2210 AD and uh, it's like Risk, but it's in the future. And so we're gonna do a video of us playing just to see what it's like, show you guys out there. We're big fans of Risk, but we have never played this before. We don't even know how it works. We don't know the rules. We're gonna figure it out and play it for you. Here's your Christmas gift. Merry Christmas. Hey Brock, show us what's inside this box here. Okay. Speak louder. We've got a list of rules, instructions. Okay. Um, we've got game pieces. Can you be a little bit more enthusiastic? I got you this as a gift. You should. Yeah, be... I love it. I don't. Hey Brock, how's it going? We'll see. Take your hat off. I mean, there we go. Is that a military haircut? Uh, it's within regs. Here we are with the uh, the risk pieces, the risk board. It's the Continental United States, and the <clears throat> the manual is casting like a shadow. It's bad for the lighting. Okay, so the war is supposed to last five years. Okay. At which time a new world leader will be named. I hope it's me, not you. Um, let's. Looks like we're ready to play. So let's set up. How do I set up the pieces, Brock? I'm I'm still trying to read. I just opened this thing. So. Okay. Well, um, well, I think it's like regular risk where we just claim our territories and then we'll just go from there. I guess we'll roll to see who goes first uh, in, set, in picking our territories. Okay, that does not count as your I first roll. A five, 18, 19, Are you really counting that as your roll? Because if it's higher than mine, I'm going to challenge it. 27, 33. Okay, Brock rolled a 33, so I'm going to roll higher. Yeah, that's probably higher. Okay, so I'm gonna pick first. I am... Okay, I claim the moon with my commander. The entire moon? I think we just keep distributing. Okay, I'm gonna put a couple of my guys on some of these some of these territories here, these water territories. Well, we have to do make sure they're going evenly so we each get the same number of territories. Okay, go, I have three. Now I have four. Put another guy there. Okay, wait a second. I see what you're doing. You're trying to take over to, yellow. You're supposed to take turns. Okay, we just about got it set up. Brock is being slow. He still has, he still has most of his yeah. green pieces. Well, left. that's because we're supposed to take turns, and you just keep dumping your people onto the board. Yeah. So. Well, I already, I put all my reds, and so I'm out of red. So while you're still going, I'm just gonna. I've been putting browns around here. So I'm gonna well, use. That's because that's the number of people you're supposed to have. You can't put more people than you have. Well, you have brown in my territory. Yeah, I figure if it came down to it, we could just roll and see who gets that one. Okay, I decided that I'm going to need some of my browns as reserves, so I'm going to let Brock play, play the rest of his greens on the board. And then I'll have these as reinforcements. That's smart thinking. So I would recommend not playing all of your greens so that you'll have some reinforcements. What are, what are these, Brock? Uh, energy points. Energy points. How many do I start with? I don't know. I'm just putting them in a pile over here until I can finish reading the instructions if you'll stop moving pieces around on the board until I know what we're supposed to be doing. While Brock here has been setting up the game, I've actually taken the time to read the instructions so I know how to play so we can begin the game. Let's just start, okay? Okay. Clearly one of the main strategies of Risk 2210 is that you gotta get out there and it's like a land grab. You just gotta get out there and take the territories and if you're not quick enough, then you're not gonna be in a good enough starting position. Um, like I am, I got red and brown all over the place. Brock's had a few green territories. Not a big deal, I think I can hold them off. I got the whole moon, by the way, that's really cool. Since I'm obviously in a better position to start off the game, I'm gonna let Brock go first, just out of sympathy. And I don't know if, you, if this is the time. I took Brock's uh, strong looking shiny pieces, and if he wants to negotiate for them by giving me some of his territories, uh, I'm open to doing so now. That's actually one of the rules? Yeah. In the book. Page 40. Where are the attack dice then? Oh, those are the black ones, because there are more of them. So there All you of go. them? Oh, yep, there's a roll, and then... What do the different types mean? Well, that's just, it's easier so you don't have to count the dots. You can just read the number. There's, there are eight sides. Yeah, and the number's there, and you don't have to count the dots. I'll do Siberia attacking. 
I can't say any of those. Uh, that's Siberia attacking Alden. I mean, how can you not... Oh, disqualified. You rolled a six. six. That was the second six. The second dice was a six. Oh, gotcha. Oh, you knocked out some of my pieces. Yeah, I did. So, no, he, he actually landed in the water. So, you get, to, you get to use those as reinforcements later. I rolled, what was that, five, six times two. That's 12. You rolled right into the middle of my territories. Yeah, I got a 12. So... I won that one. So Siberia, all of yours and your space station are gone. There you go. And now I get to move my guys from Alden into yours. Let me see the rule book. Okay, about 30 minutes has passed. As you can see, the outcome of the game has come out quite in my favor. I ran out of both red and brown pieces, so now I'm on to blue. And Brock is making his final stand in... What is it? What is it? Zaire Military Zone. Put those pieces back. Okay, fair enough. And so let's see. This what game is ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. You haven't even let me touch the cards at all. Yeah, well, I have. We have all these pieces over here that you say aren't even necessary for the game. Well, no, they are. I, I took some. I have about 20 of them. Do you not have any? No. Okay, it's come down to this, ladies and gentlemen, the final stand. Uh, this is Brock's final stand, and I have a, quite the plan to take him out. How does it feel, Brock, to be outwitted? It feels like you're cheating. No, I'm not cheating. How is that possible? Look at all the pieces I have. I have all of the uh, browns, blues, and reds. And, and look, look, some of the pieces are even in the water. It doesn't even matter. I have so many. They're just disqualified because that's the rule. Here we go. Final attack. Les Lesotho versus Zaire. Oh, one of you guys fell into the water. Damn it. Zaire military zone. Let's make it like a manly competition. I'll use one die, you use one die. Let's do it. Hold yours up. So it's, now let's chink them together. Chink. Now you roll first. Is seven. Okay. Let's see what happens. You ready for this? I'm ready. Oh, so close. I rolled a six. Brock, that means you fended him off. Or did you? Because I use my nuclear attack. Boom! And it wipes out all of Africa. But it doesn't matter because I won the game. You should have saved up some nuclear attacks. This game is ridiculous. Okay, okay. Look at that, Brock's, Brock's a little angry, you can tell. No, that was a lot of fun. Thank you, Zach. Well, you're welcome. Okay, loser cleans up. That's how the game's played, friends. Gotta, gotta think fast, gotta do your research. I read the rules, Brock did it. And you get, it's all about the startup, the setup. You gotta get your guys out there. You gotta have your positions fortified. You gotta be in a position. You gotta collect these points. Um, and you gotta have a nuke. Brock didn't get a nuke. You know why? Because he didn't ask for one. It's in the rules. You have to ask. Really? How, how would you how would you compare this game to regular risk? I would say it's pretty similar. Um, as long as you're making up the rules as you go, it's like pretty much any game. I don't know what you're insinuating, but Brock Brock thinks because he lost, I must have cheated. It's ridiculous.